Hi friends, welcome to UNS classes. As usual, I am back with another previous year question from NEET. So, let's see the question. Today, the question is, which of this is not an important component of initiation of paturation in humans? The question is, not an important component of paturation. So, the options are release of prolactin, increase in estrogen, synthesis of prostaglandins, release of oxytocin. And you know our routine. First, let's go through each option or let's learn a little about paturation. What is paturation and what are the steps involved in paturation? So, what is paturation? Paturation is nothing but giving birth to a baby or bringing the developed fetus to outside from the womb. So, how does paturation happen or what is paturation? Paturation is a stage which comes at the end of the pregnancy the, when the baby is fully mature to come out from the womb. So, what happens during paturation? During paturation or at the end of the pregnancy, there will be a small extension in the cervix which gives signal to the posterior pituitary thereby posterior pituitary secretes oxytocin. What do they do? They secrete oxytocin. This oxytocin directly and indirectly gives contraction to the uterine wall. So, directly means oxytocin directly acts on the uterine wall for the contraction. And indirectly through the secretion of prostaglandins, through the secretion of prostaglandins, they also provide facilitates uterine contraction to push the baby to the proper position for the delivery right so this is one area and during the initiation of paturation there will be a fluctuation or increase in the level of progesterone and estrogen that's a signal for paturation so there will be a fluctuation that is increase in estrogen and progesterone ratio that indicates the initiation of paturation process. Apart from this, there is one more hormone which is released by corpus luteum that is relaxin. Relaxin is released during the end of the pregnancy or during the initiation of paturation by corpus luteum. The function is as the name suggests relaxin. It helps in the relaxation of pelvic muscles, ligaments and cervix to facilitate the birth of the young one. Now prolactin hormone. Prolactin hormone is secreted only after the paturation and the function of prolactin as lactin means suggests it helps in the secretion of the milk. But one thing which has to be noted here is that the secretion of the milk is provided by the secretion of prolactin but ejection of the milk is helped by oxytocin that is the lobe of pituitary gland whereas ejection of the milk is stimulated by oxytocin. So, if we go back to the question here the question was which is not an important component of paturation and our options we have seen release of prolactin, increase in estrogen progesterone ratio, synthesis of prostaglandin and release of oxytocin. By this time you guys have got the answer right. So, if we see the options we know that release of prolactin, we have said that prolactin is released after the paturation for the secretion of the milk. So, does prolactin an important component of paturation? No, right. So, in the here the correct answer will be prolactin. Now, the second option is increased level of progesterone estrogen. The increased ratio of progesterone estrogen is a sign or initiation of paturation. So, this can't be an option. And the third one is synthesis of prostaglandin. Prostaglandin is synthesized by the action of oxytocin. And release of oxytocin is one of the major steps during paturation. So, this also can't be an option. And final option is release of oxytocin. Obviously, this can't be an answer because the question is which is not an important component of paturation. Now, before concluding, we can go to one more question asked in the same year from the same region. The question is, which of the following secretes the hormone relaxin during the later phase of pregnancy? See, we have discussed that was the function of relaxin. What's the function of relaxin is to 
relax the cervix and pelvic ligaments for the easy delivery of the baby right and it is released by which of the let's see the options here the options are uterus graafian follicles corpus luteum and fet fetus so can you guys guess the answer yes the answer is corpus luteum we have discussed right corpus luteum at the later phase of the pregnancy releases relaxin muscle to relax pelvic ligaments and the cervix so hope you got the concept happy learning